Hi everyone, today I will show you how to do the maintenance on our vacuum pump. The sugaring season is over, now it's time to change the pump oil. So a pump like this one needs an oil change every year right at the end of the season. It's very important not to wait until the next season. We need to proceed with the oil change while the pump is hot or warm. So the best time is when you stop the pump at the end of your season. By doing it right away, you will avoid any further problem. Firstly, you need to find a good container for the used oil. The volume of oil can vary from pump to pump. It's between 1.5 to 5 liter of oil in each pump. Put the container underneath the plugs. Unscrew the filling plug, then unscrew the drain plug. Once the oil is completely drained, move toward the oil filter. Replace the oil filter by a new one. Make sure you tighten it properly. Then put back the draining plug. Now we are ready to put the new oil in a filling hole. Find the min-max marks and fill up the oil nearly to the maximum mark. Don't forget to put the filling plug on Finish your oil change, run the pump for 15 minutes. It's important during the season to check the oil level every day. You always need to see some oil in the window. The color is also important. If it's too dark, the pump did took some sap. If so, you need to make an oil change. Do you have issues with the releaser or sap flow through the pump? as well as an oil change. You also need to check the exhaust filter. You may have one or two filter in your pump. With an Allen key, remove the four screws, remove the flange, then remove the filter. And look if there's any sap or humidity in it. If it's only oil, there's no need to replace. Otherwise, replace it with a new one. Every year, you also need to check the air filter. First, check the main air filter. Make sure this filter is dry. There is one for dust and particle. Secondly, with an Allen key, remove the air filter base. Unscrew the base, take the little filter out, and wash it with hot water, then put it back in place. Screw the base and make sure to tighten it. For a good vacuum, it has to be leak proof. This is how we do maintenance on our vacuum pump. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Oh, already a comment. Thank you.